What is going on ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with another edition of Moving Mad. And the other day I came across a video uploaded by April Lauren. And I watched this video and I was like, damn, so this is what we're doing now? Okay. Okay. But you know what though, let's not waste any more time. Let's begin by giving a big massive shout out to every single person that is a member of the channel including Patreon and every single person that is a subscriber as we continue to grow. Because... Oh, wow. But listen, my apologies, that was a bit too loud, right? <laughs> but let's get into this video real quick if you dig what I'm saying. That's 205 pounds total. 45 and 35 on both sides of the 45 pound bar. Oh, oh, two reps. Oh, that's three. Oh, this is easy weight. Oh, easy weight. 205 pounds, making it look easy. There's 215 on the bar. Let's see it. She's already done a set of five of this before. This is her second set. Boom, boom. Oh, there's one, easy way. There's two, still easy. Three, look at that. Four, five. Easy way. Now, before I even say what I want to say, I got to show you one more thing before I really get into this because, wow, just wow. Well, to so many situations in life, people will doubt you. They'll doubt your good news. They'll doubt what you're trying to do. And it doesn't matter. It's just noise. The only time it becomes something to be concerned about is if that doubt makes you doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself. If you've set out to achieve something, and you're working towards, it doesn't matter how slow, you're doing it. Be proud of that. I'm proud of myself and there is no shame in celebrating my wins, my victories, crying for my losses when I trip and fall and having the strength to get back up, dust my knees off and continue forward. It's important to continue forward. Love you guys. Now, when I first saw this video, I was like, the improvement in the weight is immaculate. The improvement in form is also very good. Form could be a little bit more, but remember, I'm a gym head, so I'm always going to be nitpicky. Don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? Not me being negative, it's just me being me. And the more I watched this woman, I was like, this is someone that myself in particular doubted at some point last year, or maybe this year. A person that other people even doubted themselves in particular. We questioned her and everything. But you know what, before I even continue to what else I gotta say, I just gotta show you a little bit more of this video because, just damn. So, I actually did do 20 minutes. What a difference a year makes, one year. Every day, and it's just a little bit forward. And if you find that you've fallen, and maybe you're in the same, maybe you're stagnant, or maybe you roll back just a little bit, dust your knees off and press forward. You've got to leave all of the doubts behind you. Don't let other people's opinions cause you to doubt yourself. Believe you got this because you do. Strive to live each day a little brighter, a little healthier. I love you guys. Now, let me keep it a buck, and let me keep it simple and straightforward here, ladies and gentlemen. For the past year or so, I've been watching April Lauren, and I've also been watching Beatrice too. And the thing that I've always liked about April Lauren is that she's always been consistent with following a certain program for a certain duration of time. It's never been, I'm doing this just for a day or I'm doing it for just a week or, you know, so it's always like I'm doing something for like a certain amount of time that is reasonable, that is actually going to potentially work, whether that be, be a month, you know, and always changing things up here and there. So that's why she's been able to lose a significant amount of weight within a year. Now, she may have not have lost how much she planned to have lost within the year, but we can see a massive difference within her appearance. We can see a massive difference within um, her training because even at the beginning when she was training with just the bar and she had a cushion at the back that she didn't even need in the first place, but you can see she was a little bit shaky going down that squat, but now she'll remove the cushion, the cushion, got the bar in the right place, and now she's going nice and low and steady without even shaking on her squats, which is immaculate. She should go slightly a bit lower, you know what I'm saying, but that's just me, you know what I'm saying, okay? But the fact is though, the consistency that she's done throughout the past year, even with the many hiccups that she's had here and there, like she's showing us, showing me, if anything, that it is possible to lose weight whilst vlogging. 
The only thing is you just got to cut out the naysayers and you got to stay on task. But most importantly, you got to stay true to yourself and your goal. And that's what she has done, which is absolutely, absolutely amazing. I don't know why I said absolutely, absolutely twice and I just did it again. But what I have watched Beatrice though, on the other hand, it's always been a constant new weight loss plan every single video. One week this, one week that, one week this, one week that. Which is why she's lost no weight. I believe when I checked, she lost about two pounds in the space of a year. And I know she made a video six months ago talking about having the whole hip mishap and whatnot. But the thing is, though, that was always going to happen because she was never consistent with a plan. It was always changing the plan every single bloody video, okay? Which is why that Beatrice is still at the same stage she's at now. They may be two different people, but when it comes to losing weight one thing or one of the many things everybody has in common or what that weight loss has in common is being consistent seeing a plan out for a duration of time before you change it to something else and that is what april rowan has done to our amazing ability we can only or at least i can only give her a round of a freaking applause you know what i'm saying because she has defined many things here and that is one go on youtube two losing weight on youtube Three, not getting sucked in by the monetization of YouTube, the viewership of YouTube, and not getting sucked in to always make videos just for trending purposes, just for the YouTube algorithm, which is something that we see from the other creator that I've obviously mentioned here. You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying that April Lauren is better than Beatrice in any kind of way. What I'm trying to say is that if you look at the differences between their channels and you look at the difference within the journeys, you can see one why one of them has really gotten to a very good place and why one has just been simply stagnant okay and then at the same time we can then look at the other people like the Amberlins and the foodies and you know and the alexander rodriguez and the rest of them that let's not even get into that <laughs> let's not even get into that one okay because that's a whole different kind of worms but listen honestly if i was a female even a man myself in particular and i was looking to go onto youtube and i was to find someone that is around someone that is looking to lose weight and someone that is doing a consistent job and keeping it realistic as much as possible and isn't really about the fame or the monetization or the viewership or the algorithm. Like, like there's no tomorrow. April Lauren is a go-to for me at this moment in time because, again, I've doubted her a few times. But honestly, I love to be proved wrong. And she has done that. If she hasn't proven you wrong, I don't know. But nonetheless, though, I got to really know. And I want to say I got to know. I mean, I got to really, really know. What are your thoughts on April Lauren's transformation thus far at this moment in time? Because goddamn, woman deserves a round of a freaking applause. Pure inspiration, if you ask me. And hopefully, she keeps going in the same direction that she's going. And she finally gets to that goal that she's looking for. Because at this moment in time, it seems to me as if nothing is going to stop her from getting there. Listen, at this moment in time, I mean, I hate to say it because before, I used to look at this slogan like, Really? Only because I had no faith, to be fair with you. But now I'm going to say it. Ladies and gentlemen, wake up bright. If you dig what I'm saying, shout out. But thank you so much. Let me know what you're thinking down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you like it too. And also comment down below and I'll see you there. Peace.